Hi, I'm Joy from JH Leather, and if you have been following my channel for a while, you will have seen that my preferred edge finish is staining and burnishing, and that is down to my background in saddlery and my love of veg tanned leather. However, as I have been moving more into small leather goods, I am using more of a variety of leather as well as combining materials, so I am having to put aside my beloved stain and move onto a more appropriate edge finish for these materials, edge paint. Moving out of my comfort zone and onto edge paint hasn't been the easiest transition for me as I am stubborn and sometimes impatient. I am now getting to a place where I'm happier using edge paint and I thought some of you may be in a similar position in your own other craft journey. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I got over my edge paint fear and hopefully you will too. My initial issues with using edge paint for me was the application drying time and then not being able to get the desired finish I was after. So that is what we're going to cover in this video. So I have used a couple of brands for the edge paint but my preferred one is the United's edge paint as it's quite thick and comes in a huge variety of colours and you can also mix them together to, to create your own custom ones. Now we're going to start with the application methods. So I have tried a few different options here. I've tried out both of these pen rollers, I've used my scratch all, paintbrush ends and I am currently using this stainless steel applicator which is my favourite of the lot. So when it comes to the edge paint rollers that I have, I found them quite hard to get along with but that doesn't mean they're not good, it's just that I prefer another method. I moved on to using the end of my paintbrush and my scratch all and I found that I got on really well with that and I was able to have more control when applying the paint to the edges of my leather so I went and got myself a stainless steel applicator which is what I'm using now and I love it and it also means I don't have to keep using my scratch all. However, on thicker pieces of leather, then the paintbrush end still comes in handy. Now you may find the rollers easier to use and that is absolutely fine. They are pretty inexpensive to try out and see if they work for you or not. The main thing is to find an application method that you are most comfortable with. When it comes to getting the best edge finish possible, the main thing here is edge preparation. So there are a couple of things we can do and the best option is going to be by adding a trim allowance to your patterns. And this is going to make it so the multiple layers of leather will have a nice flush edge. And if you need to reinforce anything, then by attaching that first and then cutting out your piece, they too will have nice flush edges. Now, adding a trim allowance may not always be possible, and here you're going to have to sand your edges so they become level. Once your edges are flush and ready, we can start to do our edge painting, and it's worth adding your crease beforehand as if you do it afterwards, sometimes you can damage the edge that you have just so lovingly finished. Now the first layer of paint we're going to apply is going to be quite thin so it can quickly absorb into the fibres of the leather and this will dry relatively quickly for edge paint. When it comes to holding the pieces when painting and drying, there are a few different options. Now, depending on how rigid your leather is, you may be able to hold it up between a couple of pattern weights, or for smaller pieces, you can get these drying racks, or you can use some grips or clips to hold your leather up. So if you do accidentally get a drip of edge paint onto your leather, then don't worry, we can usually solve this. So if you're careful, you can quickly and carefully just wipe the edge with your finger or a cloth to remove the wet paint. However, if it has dried, then what you're going to want to use is some crepe rubber and rub that over the paint until it peels off. Once the first layer of paint is dry, we can use some sandpaper and lightly sand the edges to remove any bumps that are present. And I like to use my sandpaper in one direction when doing this to keep the leather fibres in the same direction. We can then use a soft cloth and remove any dusty bits and then apply our second coat. And this one is going to be a bit thicker and it's going to start to build up our edge.
Once that has been applied, we have to wait until that has fully dried. And I mean fully dried. If it hasn't, then when we come to sand this layer, you can actually end up damaging the surface and then you're gonna have to start all over again. Once your second coat has dried, we're going to once again lightly sand the edges and wipe them clean with a cloth to remove any debris and then apply coat three and wait for that to dry. And then we're going to repeat this method however many times we need to until we get a nice smooth finish without any air bubbles or blemishes in. Now, depending on the leather you are using will depend how many layers of edge paint you're going to need to do to get a really nice result. So for me, these actually took four coats of paint to do and we're basically just repeating the same sanding method and then adding a new layer and waiting for that to fully dry. We can then move on to some final finishing. So we can go over the edges once again with a fine grit sandpaper and we are then going to use some isopropyl alcohol on a cloth and smooth that across the edges of our leather in one direction. And then you can also go over this layer with a soft cloth and actually polish the edge and that's going to give this edge a little bit of shine to it. Now I am pretty pleased with the results of this and as you can see the veg tan one here is really nice and smooth. However, I think if I was to have this on a final product, I would do an extra layer on these two chrome tanned options to get a better, more smooth finish. And now one thing to note is that edge paint isn't exclusively for use on chrome tanned or softer leathers. You can use this and get some really good results on veg tan leathers. Now I do still have one main issue with using edge paint and that is the drying time. Now this is going to depend on the leather, what coat of paint you're on and your surroundings. So for me in winter, this takes forever as my workshop gets incredibly cold. You can help speed up the process by using a space heater or if I have my radiator on, I will prop up my leather next to that. Or if it's a nice sunny hot day, I can also stick them in the windowsill to dry. So I hope that this video has helped you get to grips with edge paint and hopefully it will give you more confidence when using edge paint on your future projects. And there are going to be links in the description to the items that I've talked about in this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.